something that I'd never thought about until recently was the type of wig you have to choose when going to hospital. And since I've had a few hospital appointments, all one after the other, I thought I'd share some things that I've learnt and some funny experiences that I've had. If you're going in for any type of scan, so CT, MRI or X-ray, make sure that your wig doesn't have any metal objects. Now you might think, metal objects, where could they be? Well, sometimes the combs that they use in wigs can be made of metal or sometimes the clasp. So just check that neither of those two things are made of something metallic. Or if you're used to pinning your hair down with hair grips, that's a big no. Try and use a wig grip for security. But generally the type of wig that I choose depends on my mood and the other day I wore my favorite wig called Ellie she's a beautiful big afro curly half wig and uh, I got into the scanning machine and the radiographer he said um, I think you need to tie that hair back and if you've seen Ellie well there's no way of tying it back there's no way of taming it let's say so in the end I was like you know what just take the wig and I literally took it off my head and gave it to him in his hand and he was like ah, okay <laughs> so as you can see today I have chosen a sleek wig with a low density so I don't have any problems with the head fitting into the various places um, this is Bethany and it's part of the uh, grab and go wigs that I have reviewed. My last tip is to wear a wig that looks good disheveled or at least that it snaps back like like this one like Bethany you know it sort of just goes back into place and the reason being is that you're probably gonna have to take your clothes off put them back on you want something that looks good um, despite all of that and also you want a wig that you can take on and off easily because I don't know about you but I find it really hard pulling jumpers over my head and keeping my wig on. Obviously the alternative is to not wear a jumper but sometimes you don't foresee these things and having a wig that comes on and off easily is a lifesaver. I have had the situation where for example the GP was looking uh, to test for my lymph nodes and obviously the wig had to come off and the doctor was like oh my god didn't even realize it was a wig. So having a wig that goes on and off really easily is really important. I find that having a short wig uh, is better than having a long wig, but uh, that's personal preference. I'm going to leave a summary of the tips on my screen. I hope that this video was useful and I look forward to seeing you on my next wig review. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and like. Thank you.